Any bricklayers? Okay. <laughs> this next song is about the United Kingdom and how stupid it is. I'm pretty sure the whole world's pretty fucking stupid right now, but you know, we know there's the rise of the right everywhere, but in the UK, very, very present, man. But last night, uh, the band we were playing with, it was brilliant, they were these kids, yeah? In fact, you support them, they were called Wave Punks, yeah? They were kids, they were like 20, right? <laughs> the end of the night, you see them dressed them. And these kids, walk, two of these kids went walking off down the street, yeah? They were little kids. They're walking off, and then suddenly you hear, Oh, you fucking cunt! There was these two, like, I don't know what you call them, footballers or, fat, you know, whatever, these thugs, yeah? Come out of a kebab shop. They're like, you fucking cock In the white shirts and all this stuff, you know. These, these two kids were beautiful. They just kept walking, kept walking. And I sort of, I've seen that, I was at the venue, and I looked out and I was like, okay, so I started thinking, this is bad. These kids are going to get fucked up by these thugs, yeah. So I started following, thinking, I really hope, hope this don't kick off because I don't want to get into a fight. And anyway, next thing you know, these thugs, these kids just walking like that, no provocation, yeah. And these thugs charged at them, giving it all like that. These two kids, I couldn't believe it, yeah? Turn around, kick the fucking shit out of these two blokes, yeah? <laughs> and I was just like, I was running up when it was going off, thinking, oh no, I've got to jump in and help these kids, yeah? <laughs> and these kids just beat the shit out of these two people, yeah? And I fucking, I was like, wow, that was fucking rad, yeah? <laughs> and I went up to these kids, and I was like, that was fucking amazing, yeah? And they were like, they were just fascists. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> As if it was an everyday thing. I couldn't believe it. I was just like, what? And he's like, yeah, they're just fascists looking for a brawl. And I, I'm like, they weren't even faced. If that, if that was me, I'd be talking about it forever. Hence why I'm telling you now. Do you know what I mean? That's, no, they're just fascists. So, wave punks, yeah, from Dresden. Good fucking people. Like, I love them for life now. Yeah. Well, amazing. Sorry about that. I thought I'd share that story with you because it was fucking brilliant. Yeah. Okay then, should we play traditional punk song? Sorry, yeah, traditional punk song. This goes out to uh, all the wankers in the UK that voted conservative. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this all happened in a dog's life. Baby boomers, fucked it up. For the rest of us, you selfish cunts, won't be around to help clean it up. But believe me, you'll be judged. All right, they are getting a bunch of rain. All right, they are getting a bunch of rain. She's one of us. Build a wall across the channel. Bomb the tunnel. Bomb them all in their boats. Cause they're coming for our job. God bless fascism. Go like me, I did a vote Go like me, did a vote Go like me, I did a vote Go like me. In the second verse of that song, I say fucking hell, Prita Patel, nationalist and pinup girl, yeah? This woman, she our home secretary, yeah? Prita Patel is our home secretary, isn't she? Check this out, yeah? Today, she's put forward a bill in the UK Parliament, yeah? 
to quite to literally send refugee, refugees to Africa. So, you know, when people come, finally make it to the UK, she's trying to put a bill through to send them back to Africa. Yeah? And it's just like, you couldn't do a more, like, you know, the racists in the UK, you know, send them back to Africa. Do you know what I mean? And she's actually trying to get a bill for in Parliament to send all refugees who arrive in the country to Africa. I suppose it will be warm in Africa, you know. <laughs> like, where, whereabouts is it? Um, Rwanda. Rwanda. Fucking Rwanda, man. Like, so if you want, if you want a uh, cheap trip to Rwanda, yeah, turn up, uh, turn up in Dover without a passport. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I, I stowed away straight to Rwanda for you for a summer holiday. Yeah, yeah? Just keep your passport in your sock psh, off to Rwanda. And then when you're there, you get your passport out, you know, six months in Rwanda, come back to the UK. Like, anyway, fuck, fuck, yeah, anyway. That's it, we're not going to go more, and no more politics anyway. No more politics. Back to Wonk. Prost, prost, prost. prost.